welcome to tutorial quickly so since I hate explaining stuff we're just gonna do this quicker than expected so one of you guys requested me to show you how to make the game modes enabled disabled and whatever how to enable more game modes than just solo duo the default ones enabled in squads so here's how you do it you over, you go to reload you go to your your backend then you obviously don't you configure it whatever you want then you just go to cloud storage you go to default game.edi now I've got I'm going to open it really quickly, then as you can see we're at the top, now you want to scroll down until you find Fortnite game for game instance, then what you want to do is here you we got all the entries for playlists, now you can add, add more entries and I'm going to leave all of the playlist names in the description so you can obviously check them out, now here we just got multiple, let me scroll back down, we've got multiple playlists enabled, like Obviously, we've got solo, we've got duo and squad. I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna say whatever, which of these B entries do what. So enabled means enabling the playlist, so you can just click on it and join. B is default playlist, would mean if you were to join inside of Fortnite or inside of your project, it's gonna be the default selected playlist. Then be visible when disabled means if it's disabled like trios, and if we were to enable it, it's gonna show up, but it's gonna show it up grayed out due to ineligible for events. This is used mostly when Fortnite has live events. Then display as new would basically show the same thing as limited time. And we're gonna select that for squads since squads is enabled. And then display as limited time basically overwrites that and shows at the top limited time when you're trying to select. So we're just gonna say it like that for solo. Display priority would be in which order it's displayed, which would be zero, which would be for first place. Then for solo, for duo would be for, uh, would be second place, which is equal to one. Trio would be third place, squads, etc., etc. So we're also going to enable this to true. This to true, so we can see all of the playlists. And we're just going to disable the last playlist since this would be a live event. All right, so after we do that, we can just exit here. We can go into here. We can start our backend. We don't have to do absolutely anything else. But before we start our backend, and before I'm going to launch Fortnite really quickly, so you also have to change and add game servers in order to. You have to add game servers to the corresponding playlist in order to be able to join from inside of the fort inside of Fortnite or inside of your project. Now, after I'm la I launch Fortnite, if you were to try to join to a playlist which does not have a game server corresponding to it inside of the config, it's going to give you an error. So I'm just going to show you that really quickly after my Fortnite loads ex ex exactly. Sorry for my kind of, let's say, messy tongue and like not speaking properly. It's just that I have to rush this since I've got maybe like two other tutorials to make. Let's hope this one's quickly. All right, so it's patching. I'm gonna turn off volume, of course. Now, as you can see, if you were to start the backend multiple times, it's gonna be pretty quickly. Uh, we're gonna go to Battle Royale. There we go. As you can see, I've logged in. All right, now we're just gonna click on here. We're gonna click Okay, we've got music volume to zero. Okay, now, ignore the background. It's probably because I've launched it too quickly. So, yeah, you can just ignore that. Uh, now, if we were to go into here, you can see that Playgrounds is disabled. We've got Team Rumble disabled. As you can see, ineligible due to event. This was used for live events. We've also got Trios, and we've selected Solo as, as new, but it says limited time only for some reason. Now, if we were to try, let's say, join squads, which does not have a game server corresponding to it, it's gonna give us an error. It says checking for updates. It says loading content. But there you go, as you can see, it gives an error. So if you were to go to, let's say, solo or duo, which does have a game server, it's gonna automatically try and redirect to that game server. There, as you can see, finding match. All right, now, that's whatever I wanted to show you, so. Alright guys, that's all for this tutorial. If you really liked it, if you liked the quickness of the tutorial, subscribe. 
no pressure of course, and leave a like so more people can see this if they're having the same issue as you. So yeah, see ya in the next tutorial which would be how to set up the matchmaker with another service except for admin VPN.